With Paid Memberships Pro, you can protect content in loads of ways. In fact, we have an article that shows you how to protect 28 different types of content in your WordPress site. Today, I'm going to demo the content visibility block. This block is available in version 3.0 of Paid Memberships Pro and higher. The content visibility block is designed for sites that use the built-in WordPress editor for their page building experience. If you're using a different page builder, check the link in the description for help protecting content in Elementor, Divi, Beaver Builder, Oxygen Builder, and a few others. I don't remember all of them right now, but this is for the WordPress block editor. It's a block that you can insert into the middle of content of your page and show and hide different things based on the person viewing the site. So are they logged in? Are they a member? Do they have a specific membership level? There's some cool tricky ways to use this. So we'll do a few demos. We'll get started right now. So here I am on my site. I'm just gonna insert a new page. So we're just kind of starting with a clean slate and we'll start to demo the features of this block. So this will be the content visibility demo. So you might've had Pay Merchants Pro before version 3.0. You might be totally new, but if you were formally using it, we called this the require membership or membership required block. I got a facelift and a few new features, so I'll talk through them here. But just a note on upgrading, if you edit a page that formerly had the require membership block, it's gonna automatically convert that logic to the new block's settings, and it just seamlessly converts. So nothing you need to do for the upgrade if you were using that block. So I'll hand wave here quickly. Pages in Paid Merchants Pro do have page level membership requirements. So if you place the content visibility block in a page that's already protected, it's not gonna reveal content if the outermost condition isn't met. So most people using this don't set a membership requirement at the page or post level. They rather just build the content with these blocks. So um, that's your choice. Just know that it's not gonna work buried in a page that's already protected to show something to non-members. Um, so let's insert this block. I'll just call it visibility. It'll, be able to search for it here by entering slash in the block editor. Um, and then it inserts this block. Uh, the content visibility block acts like a group block, an outer wrapper. So you can nest elements within it. You can even put two content visibility blocks inside each other. Um, you can put any other block editor components, paragraphs, buttons, anything that you need here. So let's just do some sample. I'm gonna show this to all members. And then if I click through to the outer block, you'll see the settings. Um, comes up with that eyeball. So that's a good way to get to it. Or you can use this tree view and click on the outermost uh, element here, which is the content visibility block. Um, now let's look at block settings. You see here, content visibility is where I can control who can see or who cannot see the content here. So for this demo, we're doing show to all members, which is the default setting. I have content visibility set to show show content to all members, and then the no access message. You'll be familiar for, with this if you're protecting pages or posts. That's the message that shows what levels have to be uh, met, what conditions have to be met. And if the person's not logged in, it'll show a login link or a link to register and sign up for your level. So when you're using content visibility with the show setting, um, you can also show that no access message. Um, so it can either just hide the content and not show anything, kind of be an invisible, content upgrade to members only, or you can choose to show that no access message. I'm gonna duplicate this block and change the settings to, to do the hide, hide this from all members. And let's look at the settings for this. So instead of a show condition, we wanna change this to a hide, hide content from all members. So that's basically show hide all members. What other conditions are possible? Let's insert another content visibility block here. And then we'll do a specific settings so we can show to all members people of specific membership levels or people who are logged in now why logged in users that's really your way to target uh, people that are logged in but don't have a membership level and i'll show how you would do that so let's do that setting now show from everyone who's logged in that's not also a member how would we do that so i'm going to have the content visibility block show to logged in users and then i'm going to put another block within it and on this one i'm going to say hide from all members so we're thereby effectively targeting a uh, logged in non-members. So really funky how you can get uh, set up with this uh, block, how you can nest things. Again, it's easy to do a specific membership level, show to a specific membership level, and you can select one of your more premium levers or a few of them. Um, you, the same is true for hiding. If you wanted to hide this block, you could hide this content uh, from all of your levels that aren't maybe you're free. So on this site, beginners are free level. 
and we're going to hide it from the people who are enhanced and professional. That's a great way to do a content upgrade or an upsell for membership that advertises your paid plans to people who are free or non-members of the site. So it's going to hide if someone's logged in or not logged in or someone logged into the site with enhanced or professional or if they're not logged in at all, they're going to see it because they don't have a membership level. That condition isn't met. So play around with nesting these and play around with what you might need to do to, to meet some of the conditions uh, that you need in this site. I'm gonna start a new page just to show you another way to use these content visibility settings. We'll probably do a deeper video about this, but let's just show it for now. So I'm gonna go to new page. Uh, let's save our draft in case we have to come back and demo anything. New page. And so this will be content visibility settings on all blocks. So just like we have that wrapper block, we also added the setting to all the core blocks in the WordPress block editor. So instead of setting things up in a wrapper like that, you can simply insert your buttons block and on that whole block, enable content visibility for that section. So you can use the content visibility wrapper block or you can just enable the setting on other blocks in your WordPress site. So this is a great thing to do if you want to build your own content, you're designing things and you just want to element by element, change the appearance and change the visibility for those sections. So just have to click that to toggle it on and then the same settings apply, showing and hiding from logged in specific levels or all. And then the show condition to swap in that no access message. So that's pretty much it for how the content visibility block works, how the content visibility settings work on all core WordPress blocks. If you're using a different page builder, you're not using the WordPress block editor, you're going to need to use our membership required shortcode or the settings in your page builder that are unique to your builder. So all those links will be in the description. Just trying to give you more ways to protect content and build little upgrades that either are personalizing content for your logged in members or upselling membership to your free or non-member audience. I'm Kim Coleman. This is the Paid Memberships Pro YouTube channel. We post content about using our plugin, building a membership site, and helping you get paid for your content. Give the channel a subscribe if you want to be notified when we publish more videos like this.